Well, that's not good. After sitting in there and poor Mark for 20 minutes trying to see if uh, I can get out of here yet. I have coolant all underneath here. Oh, jeez, fucking brand new truck. The uh, typical pack car blue blue coolant lines leaking, just like my old pack car did too. Looks like it's freaking leaking over here too. Awesome. All right. Well, I guess I'll try to tighten that crap up. Always something. So. I'm just gonna throw this up. This is gonna be a quick video. I'm at Cormark today over in, um, I don't know, what is this? Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of the name of the township here. Hanover Township? Like, actually, Sugar Notch or whatever this is off of 81. I had an appointment for 6 a.m. I was here about 5.25 or something. That. Uh, yeah, I'm still sitting in the door. I'm, per I'm pretty sure I'm unloaded. But uh, you go in there, it's one of those cage type, you know, facilities where you're not allowed to pass the cage. And you stand there for, I don't know, 15 minutes, twiddling your thumbs. And it's gotten really windy all of a sudden. Let's go over here. You stand there for 15 minutes, twiddling your thumbs. They all stare at you, go by you 20 times, and nobody bothers talking to you or doing anything. So, I said screw it. I had enough of being in there freezing, looking like an idiot. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna get detention on this load. Here, I guess I should show the scenery behind me a little bit. Looks pretty nice. Here comes the wind again. Typical, typical Pennsylvania warehouse, you know, built wherever the flattest piece of land is, and usually around nice scenery. Said it'd probably look a lot nicer if there were some houses here with about an acre on them, but just what happens around here. Um, yeah, so there you see my 2023 next gen leaking coolant. I guess I know where my coolant's going now. Uh, that's the first time I actually seen it puddled underneath the trunk, or at least somewhere where it wasn't raining or, I don't know, puddles or something. And I couldn't tell if it was somebody else's truck. I forgot it's got that safety feature on it. So after this, uh, I was hoping to, like, go home for a while. Because my next load is at 4 p.m. over in Moose. Moose in it? Oh, I don't know. It's uh on the other side of Wilkesbury. Uh like Cole Town, uh like not Cole, uh, I don't know what that is. It's uh like Scranton, West Scranton area. Toby Haunt ish, somewhere over there. Oh my gosh. This too, I it's pain in the butt to always latch this. There we go. Um yeah, it's over that way, and that's not till 4 p.m., and that is going to uh, McLean. So they're probably not going to let me in there earlier. I might call them before I leave here, see if they'll let me in, just to, uh, just to see if I can't salvage this day at all and have, you know, have a day at home. Or, you know, I'll probably be able to, well, I might not even be at home tonight, to be honest with you. Even though I'm only like 45 minutes away from my house. Um, you know, it depends how, how long I get, you know, they take at McLean. If they take a really long time, 
I'm going to be probably just spending a the night there or, or around there or something because it'll be, you know, what am I going to do? Drop the trailer off in Pottsville? Uh, come home at like 3 o'clock in the morning or something? Or, or what? To wake the wife up? Bother the kids? Then get woken up myself? So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, like I said, I'm going to ho hopefully I'm I'm going to give McLean a call after I get out of here and see if they'll take me early. If they will, and actually unload me in a decent amount of time, that'll be great. But if they unload me like this place, let's see, it's like 11 o'clock now. I'm still here. So from like 5, 5.30 to 11 o'clock, I'm still here at Cormore for half a trailer. In fact, the reefer just shut off. It won't even run anymore. It's been running nonstop, and now it just said, screw it. <laughs> I just saw the yellow light come on now. Probably because it can't keep box temperature. So, yep. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm just irritated. I only I've been trying to sleep the whole time, but I've been waking up about every hour and a half just to check to see if I can get the hell out of here. And I, oh. We good? Yeah, sorry for the wait. All right. Dog plates up. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. All right, so we got five short ballpark francs. So apparently I was delivering hot dogs here, it looks like. Um, oh, and some Jimmy Bean sandwiches and biscuits and... Uh, I have no idea what the hell that crap is. Oh, bacon, some bacon. All right. So yeah, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna post this video, I guess, real quick. Um, just to keep content up, I guess. It's not, I'm not gonna edit it. I'm not gonna do nothing fancy, probably. Uh, maybe real quick, edit job. And uh, yeah, well, I guess let me pull out of the door here. I'll have to reset the reefer. <laughs> These are the, uh, what I call the blah days of, you know, just the days that are like, you don't feel like working. Uh, this, this, this happens a lot in reefer. When I did flatbed, you didn't really have these days unless you were sick. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just tired. I didn't get to bed till like, I don't know, 10 last night. I'm trying to do stuff at the house, um, clean up clean up my uh, basement and stuff. So, they set the thought place down. I guess the red light just never shuts off. So I'm gonna mark this down for detention. Uh, I already made sure I would get it. So I'll probably get a, I don't know, at least a couple hundred bucks here. Probably 120 bucks, 150 bucks or something like that. Just fine by me. Because this, these are short, those are the big thing I'm a little bit on is this is a short load, a short run, so I only get paid like a flat, like uh, $700 for the short stuff. I'm only going like 120 miles a day total. So like literally, you know, this is about 45 minutes um, from my house, so it's only about an hour away from the DC. And actually it's, I think it's, yeah, actually it's less than 45 minutes away from my house. It's probably like 35 minutes away from my house. So yeah, so this is like only an hour away from the DC. The next stop's only maybe an hour and 20 minutes from the DC. So they have like a flat rate for small small runs like this. But it's also a two stop, so I'm gonna get 65 bucks or something. I think it's 65 bucks for the second stop. And then I'll get this detention and I'm sure I'll probably get detention over at McLean. So it'll probably come out to about a thousand dollars today or pretty close, maybe nine something. Um, I should have grabbed the seal. I don't care. Alright. I'm hoping. Let me just check those and make sure those aren't returns.
there's four cases on this pallet. Cheddar worst. Seven Eleven select chicken wings, and I don't know. Every everywhere I go, uh, well, I guess the last McLean in Virginia too. Seven Eleven chicken wings. I never knew Seven Eleven like specialized in chicken wings, but apparently they do. Let's see if I can get these doors. I'm starting to hate these doors here on these utility trailers. The hooks are so damn high, you can barely get the you can barely get the uh, the latch off of it. But yeah, well, uh, nah, it's just a mark on a tire. But like I was saying, uh, you know, I'll probably end up with like 900, 950 today or something like that. So the only thing that sucks, like I said, I, I should be able to get home like something like this. I should be home at like four or five o'clock with my family. But the way it's scheduled, I guess you guys are just seeing random parts of my truck. The uh, the way it's scheduled, I guess McLean don't unload at a certain time, or or they knew core mark takes forever. So you know, uh, I got the, like I had this appointment at 6 a.m. and then the next one in the McLean's at 4 4 p.m. So, but. I'm gonna see, well here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm already on sleeper. I'm gonna try to hang out here in this parking lot, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like nobody cares. And I'll call my clean up and see if they'll take me early. If they'll take me early, I'll finish my 10 hour break or eight and a half. I'll take my 10 hour break here. Cause if I take my split, I might be stuck in the clean longer. And I don't know. We'll have to see what's going on here because I also have a load to pick up. Actually, I have to look to see what time it picks up because my next load is. See, now I'm long calling. Uh, my next load is Swedesboro, New Jersey, which I don't know what the, who's that. I don't know what the uh, customer is. I'm, I'm unloading that. And the, uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, videography. It's kind of, I'm just doing this on my phone. I'm not pulling out my, all my other camera equipment. Um, and then the next one is called Dean's or Dave's Foods. And that's in New York City on, uh, on the island. Um, like Staten Island or something. No, not Staten Island. Um, Oh, I forget what it said it was. Miss Miss Mesopith? Mesopith? I don't know. Mesopith, New York. So that that looks like it's gonna be fun. Um that that's apparently a blind um it's gonna be a blind side backing. I read the, the two or three little reviews that are there, and uh it looks like it's blind side backing into you know those old style warehouses where the doors are set in and they got to open the outside set of doors so i don't i looked at it I, it's gonna i'm hoping i get a 48 foot trailer uh the one guy said he had a 53 and it took him like a half hour to back in so uh yeah that's that should be fun so maybe i'll get a video of that me blindside backing into a building um hopefully i don't know We'll see how bad it goes. If it goes real bad, I'll just delete the video now. I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I'll just throw it up anyway. Uh, just, just you know, if I get a decent, just for the name naysayers that, that bitch and moan about blindside back, that's probably about the worst kind of blindside back that you can do right there. Um, into a building. At least I don't have to do it off the street. Technically, it's like a little alleyway, but... Let's uh, move out of these guys' way here. And I'm just gonna set up over here on the side. You know that too, uh, when I was in there, 
Uh, doesn't look like you have uh, access to a bathroom here. In fact, they don't even have a porta potty sitting out here. So that I don't know. Who cares? Who cares about truckers, right? Oh, so what was I rambling about? Considering I only woke up like a couple, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago. However long this video's been going. Uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, so that's an exciting day. Maybe I'll throw another video up, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this video up just to put content out there. So uh, this is Jackknife TV. Sorry that things aren't you know super fancy and stuff right now. Uh, I'd have tons of stuff still to edit. I just haven't you know I've been lagging I guess since I got back from my uh, Pigeon Forge vacation there in Tennessee. But uh, I'm gonna throw this up there just to show you. I don't know, just to show you that the truck's pissing out coolant and um, the car mark for some reason takes a long time to unload what 15 pallets, maybe. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess you guys saw when I jumped up in the truck there. Uh, you know, I still have about almost three quarters of the truck left, still full. So, uh, yeah, so this is Jackknife TV. I'll catch everyone later.